Hello, darlings. Welcome to Robin's Round Readings. We're going to take a look at love right now. See what the perspectives actually are at the moment. With this Venus and Leo, whoa. I don't know. For at once, it felt like shake a tail feather. <laughs> this is going to read the psychic mind of your person. Let's find out what's going on with you and your person, okay? Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for your presence. Utilizing the energies of air, fire, water, earth, and ether to tap in. And angelic guides that have been graciously gifted to us to help us on our path. Thank you for uh, the loving presence of healing and being able to tap into it quickly. Thank you for your presence of light and love. We ask that. Uh, that you block all the darkness, dark thoughts, dark energies. Clear the ground underneath of us so we're not putting up with that. The card that came out is the Eight of Cups for you. Wait, I'm sorry, Ten of Cups. So you are somebody's, you are somebody's all in all. They dream of you all the time. 18 is the moon. And that's like somebody that keeps you in their emotional space, even when you're not there. They believe you are their very best, bestest friend. How about that person? They want a new start or they want to be, be a start for you. This would be like the Ace of Pentacles, the Tiger Lily. They're very um, excited about this, whoever this is. Take what you need and leave the rest. Thank you. Please hit the like button when you come in. I thank you very much. I think I my readings are very good. And I'm tapping into your collective consciousness. Like I said, some of it will apply, some of it won't. But if it, you know, if you feel connected to the message, you might have to be reinventing for yourself a great future if some of it's good, right? So take what you need and leave the rest, right? Here goes. What's the energy between you guys? Beautiful. The sun. That's beautiful. Excuse me, you guys. i got to move my camera over a minute. Just a little bit. Much better. All right, here we go. You can see those clearly good. And welcome in, by the way. Thank you so much for being here. Much love and kisses to you. All right, tell me more about your perspective on this person. You've been dreaming about somebody. This could be somebody from your past. <clears throat> Excuse me. How about their perspective on you? To be very specific, right? They want to send a message to you really bad. They want to, they want to, they've been on this and their mindset for a long time to do this. What are you most likely to do if you get a message from them? Magic. Check the spheres, check the spiritual world, see if it's something you should do. Uh, be careful that you don't lie to yourself over it. You might really need to close something out with somebody. This is closing something out. Um, no, this is um, making peace and getting victory over some kind of magic that might have been spelled on your relationship as well. Divine feminine, you know darn well there's magic put over your life. You know that from different directions, but you also know that you're anointed by God, some of you. And those of you who are, know how to get out of this hot water real quick. And a lot of that is basically mindset and faith, right? Tell me about your person. What are they most likely to do? Thank you for being here. They're very burdened. Extremely burdened that they can't do what? Show me, spirit. Don't hold back. Let somebody connect to this reading and feel the immense healing that can be had by understanding something and through a central process because they're deeply in love with you. I knew it. We'll, we'll look at the signs in a minute. I knew it. They're very much in love with you. So, who are they? Who are they? Who are they, spirit? Masculine. I think that's quite clear. If you'll notice something, though, 
you feel the feminine, you're chill. You feel the masculine, you're always seems to be looking somewhere else like you're never fulfilled. That might have been the problem problem with your person, male or female. These aren't gender specific because, but they're coming out that way. Yep. Someone's been locked up in their head. There's been knowledge. Someone's also unlocked knowledge in this, this union. Wow. And now the mountain is here to represent the hardship of communicating with someone you hurt. That's what I'm getting. Before I go into the pull out the cards, I want to take a look at the the consciousness of this person, the consciousness for both of you. Spirit, thank you for the privilege of being able to tap into this energy and share it with my loved ones on my platform. Subscribers, thank you for subscribing and hitting the all bell. Really appreciate it. If you want to get in on many readings, I do those at the end of my lives every time I'm on live. I'm always on live Saturday, unless something happens to me. And Saturday at 10 a.m., so you can get in. But in order to get qualified for free readings, free mini readings, and they're pretty, and they, I, I read them enough till we have the answer, till everything makes sense for you. But those, it's only $2.99 a month, and you can connect with me and stay on the channel and have the perk of free mini readings. And I thank you for those who have supported my channel, my members. I want to say something to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Patreon members, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you like the cool stuff I've been uploading. I, I have the best team in the world. I'm so happy for them. My, my uh, donators, my tribe. So it's wonderful to have a team of people that love you. Okay. Your mind is on crystal ascension. Attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of the crystal kingdom. So you're obviously into crystals. You could be doing divination with crystals. Tell me about your person's psychic conscious mind space. The wheel of fortune. Karma. Destiny, fortune, and unfortune. Here's the thing. The final acknowledgement is that they have to be guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them. Sounds like a great lesson there. Okay, spirit. Would you be kind enough to give me an energy oracle here so I can see what's going on in the energy fields? We just want this to be thorough. It's looking really good like it makes sense. The yin, divine feminine, the feminine receptive. She, she's so in tune with herself. She uses crystals because she knows that they superpower and amplify her healing processes so she can get out and heal other people. Bam, I just said it. How about the masculine? He wants to exchange gifts. He wants to come into someone's experience. He, I say he because the card said he, but... You know, whatever you if whatever you relate to. So, what'll happen? Somebody's at the fork in the road, and they know it's time to chop wood. And there's no time to play here. Is there a romance message for this? Just put this reading. It's timeless. Just apply it where it applies to your situation. If you feel like there's enough grace between you, where you could take someone back, sure as hell. But you know, you don't have to do magic to know that, but you're doing that to revitalize your own sacred self. Make sure you don't go into the dark space of the Seven of Swords. Lying to yourself or deceiving people or something. Make sure that you use it for the good of all. The romance message is, pay attention to red flags. They're warning you. This might come in very soon. Asking you to give the relationship a second chance. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if we can identify who this might be. Show me the energies of the people involved in this specifically. That will whittle down if you if it's really like fully you're reading. It probably will be for a lot of you because I'm tapping in really high by the mood. Seven of Wands, you've got your guard up. The feminine's got her guard up. So I'm protecting everything I, I worked on myself. I'm not going to give it up easily. And I know what I'm doing now. And I've been watching... I have a spiritual eye. I'm a star. I'm in the I'm in the public eye, probably. I'm a star, and I work real hard. I do look for hope. 
and I do look for endings, but I'm also paying attention to red flags because I know very soon you're going to want to come back in and, and start something back up with me. Tis what I'm getting. Your person. The emperor. And you would be an heir of probably a fire sign or have the passion of protecting yourself. Tell me more, please. Yeah, you're not in a quick move. You've got the chariot in reverse. You're not making any quick moves. You're looking for your Ten of Pentacles. You're working on your dime. You're working on all your own inner gifts and how you can benefit the world. They're going through a death process, a transformation. They're not getting very good victory at this time. This is why they're distressed. And the Six of Cups is in reverse. They don't know if there's ever any hope, but they desperately want it. And the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. So this could be a Taurus that is not coming forward, though it may long for you and their heart, Nine of Cups. They long to straighten this up with you. Knave of Wands, they want to send a message and energy your direction, and they probably already do. They want to tell you that they've gotten over their broken heart and they're sorry for breaking yours. And play in the player, Knight of Wands. They also want to say, let's start fresh, please. I've learned a lot now. Is that you? Is that your story? I know not, my loves. But this is what I was given. Now, if you want to know the outcome of this or your own story, just tap into me on my website and you can order your own private reading. And in that reading, we cover a lot of cool things. Um, and you get a private recorded, anonymous recorded link that you can watch and only you and I have access to it, okay? I love you, love you, and I hope I helped you. Namaste. Don't forget to hit the like button.